Hello and welcome everyone. I am JD and we are going to continue my Kenshi. So the outlaws here have finally taken down Katten, the little city down in the south here. We have captured the noble Shiro and we are going to bring him to the palace of prisoners. So in this episode, we are probably just going to travel all the way back home. Shouldn't take too, too long. Woo! I need everybody to run as one. Please and thank you. And while we do that, I almost thought we should head up to the old prison and see if we can get the gorilla boss as well. Now, there's nothing really special about him. So maybe I will keep that for another episode. As far as this one, like I said, we're going to bring this uh, noble, Lord Shiro, and hopefully that'll bring some more salts to our base and see if we have any extra elites show up. My next uh, mission, now that it seems that I have created more enemies with the tech hunters, which is really unfortunate, so there's not very many people I can sell my items to anymore. But, as you can see, 1.2 million cats, I don't think I need any. My only allies now are the Shek Kingdom. So, one day, when I am able to, I will try to capture the Bugmaster. Now I know he's in one of these little shacks out here. The only issue is all the spiders that are surrounding him. Now these spiders gang up pretty hard. They beat you down. They eat you up. And there's no real getting away from them. You can't sleep anywhere because they'll find you. And you cannot heal. So that will be an expedition that I will have to plan for and hopefully execute with precision. I have gone there a long time ago in another video, or not another video, but another time. I just wanted to see what the Beastmaster was like, or Bugmaster, sorry. And he's a pretty tough son of a bum. So, I will have to plan very, or very well a strategy into getting there, unharmed, and hopefully rested enough for our squad to take him down. Now his stats, I believe, are high 90s, maybe close to 100. I don't think he's wearing any armor, but he is incredibly strong. And his hits are incredibly strong. Now I'm not too sure if he would have a desert saber or something along those lines. I would imagine it's a katana of some sort. But I am not 100% sure. What is going on here? I just want to zoom out. Thank you. So one of these days, I think it would be kind of neat to go down and visit the hive. The only issue with coming in here is... The hivers are a pain in the butt, and they also have the acid to protect their home. Now the unfortunate part about the acid is the only armor that I have that has acid protection is the crab armor. Oops. And this really beats down your dexterity. Your combat effect is 95, which isn't that big of a deal. That was just the pants. This is what I meant to be showing. So your dodge skill effect is 0.25. That's only related to martial artists. So I wouldn't really have a martial artist wear this. The dexterity effect is the hard-hitting one at 0.50. So no matter what positive dexterities you have, this will bring it down to a 0.5. So not the greatest. And the melee attack bonus, negative 10, isn't awesome either. <clears throat> the only thing that that armor is good for 
is blocking cutting attacks. I have used that armor in many cases. I've used it once before to um, attack a leviathan. And as you guys have seen possibly in my previous videos, I have done that even without heavy armor. So it's really just based off of your skill, how well you can block, and you won't need heavy armor. Samurai armor is probably the best for heavy armor just because it doesn't hinder you as much. There is still some negatives to it, but it is better than going in with nothing on. Now most of my elites here, they wear the assassin rags just because of all the increased stats. It doesn't cover a whole lot, but that's okay by me. My guys can take it. They've got high enough toughness that uh, they have natural resistances. Let's just have a look at JD's here, or Jesse. So his natural resistance, let's see where it is in toughness. So his damage resistance, just all as one, is 47%. So that, on top of the, even the armor that it's blocking, is incredibly good. Now the only way to get that even higher, and I believe at even a toughness 100, you're only going to be about 55%, I believe. Maybe just a bit more. I've never been up to a level of 100 in any stats on any of my characters yet. This is by far the strongest character I've ever created and managed. It looks like we've got a couple hive runners with us. So we're just going to slow this down. Let's uh, see what Master has to do here, or what he can do. Let's just crush these guys. Oh boy, got a whole bunch of them. Alright, well, it's time to party then. Master's getting beaten down a little bit. Might be a little unfair. Yeah, I think that's a little bit unfair. Let's watch him crush now. Alrighty. She's not doing a whole lot of damage here. There's a good swing. Let's get... what is going on here? Let's get everybody over here. No sense having one guy do all the work. We've got four massive swords being wielded here. Excellent, excellent. Oh, now we get some rain. Clean off all the blood off her clothes. Very good. Alright, looks like we're all good to go. Let's just continue back home. Now I totally forgot my train of thought, but that's okay. It probably does not even matter. So as we head home, I am thinking we will maybe squad up with a couple more people and those few people might bring Sad Neil and Agnew again just because they are robots and they don't have to deal with the hiver or the acid rain I should say so robots are good in that fashion um, so I could probably deal with these three. I can probably get some acid resistant clothing or armor, I should say. And then that will help prevent the burning. I'm not too sure which ones are acid proof armor other than the crab armor. Uh, let's just have a quick 
look over here. So I think this is 40%. Um, these are 80. They're not necessarily armor. These are nothing. These can give 60%. So if I do one of these, that might work if I just bring one of those. This is 40%. So if I bring one of these helmets, perception is only minus 20, so it's not that big of a deal to wear it. And if I bring, where is it? I think Master has one in his inventory. Some of these, which are 40%, that should be perfect enough. Now these aren't that great either because the dexterity is 90.90x. So that means all of my percentages will be dropped. But it's our or it's acid protection, so it's probably my best bet. Now who all has that? I think he does. Yes he does. So we've got two people that have it. Dark Soto. Burn doesn't even need it though, so I could give that to Commander. Commander can probably put all his stuff back in here. Let's get these guys actually in town. I think Burns the one with the body, so we'll bring Lord Shi... Shiso? What was it? Chino? Shiro. S-H-I-R-O. Okay. So we'll bring him into here and let him sit with his fellow you see natives excellent now it looks like he's still down for the count I'm gonna take all of his money he's got food on him that's fine he's got an edge three that's okay he can keep that all right let's see who's hungry uh, mostly everybody's hungry here. Yes, everybody's very hungry. Alright, Burn, uh, let's get you repairing. Jesse, you can come over here and sleep. Soto, you're pretty good. Commander's pretty good as well. Alright, we should probably... We can always give you just a random leg for now. Don't really need to though. Beep, do you have a bag? Yes you do. Let's just take all of these and let's start feeding. Can't believe these guys eat so much. I usually give them four each. That way they have extra to eat later on. I do believe there's a mod that uh, gets rid of the need to feed people. But I'm trying to play the game modless other than the few mods that I do have, which I will show you here. Uh, where is it? In settings, options, mods. Those are the mods I'm using. Have nothing to do with changing the way the game plays or adding items. There's definitely a lot of items and mods and swords and armors that would be really cool to see and play with. But this has gone for long enough time that I do not want to add mods. Keep this fairly vanilla. Um, let's see. Compi, I think you were my engineer. So I'm going to get you to... Let's get you to auto-repair everything. Probably come over here and repair this fence as well. I don't know what upgrade... Upgrade to makeshift wall. Okay, we don't want to do that. 
And there's a lot of people down here. Um, who's on the toilet? Zumi. Or the clothier. Cloth Let's get you to start finding corpses. Get rid of some of these bodies. Don't need all of them around here. Excellent. Okay, it looks like our robot uh, spiders are still hanging out up here. Still beaten up, but I would imagine they'll uh, slowly recoup. So these guys have probably filled these bins up with all this extra crap that I don't really need. I've got all of this friggin' ammo that I haven't been using. This is just the research bench. Alrighty, might be time to... We've got, uh, who is this? Is this the traders? Yes it is. Some people still want my money, but unfortunately I don't need any pack animals. They does have a goat. I think I need to buy a goat. Goats are excellent. Dark Soto, will you please do the honors and buy my goat? And, uh... It would be nice to have a name for him. These guys are going right inside my base, so I will let them come to me. I'm trying to think of a goat name that would be very suitable. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Please do not piss off our uh, local inhabitants, because uh, you will not escape if you do. So they are coming completely inside. Not too sure where they are going. I've never seen them come in this far before. Oi there, townies. Hello, mate. I would like to buy one of your goats. Excellent. Just give me one second here. Ah, yes. Give me your animals. We've got a bone dog, some pack wild goat. We want Mr. Goat. Mr. Goat. What should his name be? Hmm. Mr. Goat. Well, he does have horns. He is very small. What should we call him? Let's call him Cornhole. <laughs> Cornhole the goat. Excellent. Where, what? How did you end up over there? Silly little goat. Excellent. You will join our animal squad here. And I gotta scroll down. Actually, I gotta put him in a different group so he appears. Here we go, Mr. Cornhole. Look how freaking tiny he is compared to those bone dogs. That is just awesome. Look at this little guy. Just the little puppers. Look how huge that trough is compared to him. <laughs> so cute. Alright. That is that. So guys, what should we do now? Got another, I guess, 10 minutes, so we could. Now that I'm pretty sure my guys are healed. Let's get all of these guys over here.
Well, I do believe... Okay, Soto, let's get rid of your armor. Actually, you can keep your helmet. Yeah, this is acid protection, too. Hmm. This is acid, so that's 10. That's 45. Plus the 40, so it's not really going to be 100%. So if I did the 40, so we got 40%, we got 35, so that's 75, plus the 10, so it's 85% protection. I think that should be plenty. So we'll just have to do that combination. So we'll throw all these in here, we'll keep this. Dust storms there, that's fine. Actually, I'll let you wear that for now. Um, you're going to need something. I don't think any of these are acid protection, so I might have to craft one. Let's go um, mercenary leather armor, dark leather shirt. Hmm. Their armor crafting. I thought this was where you would craft it. What is it called? Plate jacket, leather, medium armor class. How come I do not see it here? Plated long boots, plated jacket. Okay, let's get a couple of those made. Actually, I probably only need one, right? Because Jesse has one. Yes, he's got a black plate. So we'll throw that bad boy on there. I'm just going to throw this other Leviathan Pearl inside, because we don't need that. Um, let's see. So we need... Burn doesn't need his. Okay, so Burn, you can throw that to Commander. He can throw that in there. You can put that in there. I think I have some more. No, I do not. So now these are not as protective as the chainmail because this protects 100%. But look at the combat speed effect, the dexterity effect is negative, so we don't want that. So we'll take one of these. It's 10% less than the arms. A little bit less protection, but I think the dexterity is what we're going for here. Okay, so we've got this acid protection, so that's 40 plus a 60, so I think we're good with that. We don't need uh, gas masks right now, so I might as well just throw that in there. Okay, so Dark Soto, he's got 35% plus the 10 plus that. Burn doesn't need anything. The Master's got a helmet. I thought I had more iron All right well we'll just give him one of these then let him keep that helmet on for now then we will get our squads managed here so let's throw sad neil agnew so that's six i like to take even numbers of squad mates because if Three go down, three can carry. If you have an odd number out, then you're basically waiting. If you have more than half of the people taken down, then you're waiting that way too. So I don't necessarily need this armor, but I might as well keep a couple in reserve. This heavy weapon smith, we can get him to... Let's see here. Um... 
There's not really much. I don't really need to build much, I don't think. Like, I've got everything I could ever need. So let's get these guys over here. Sad Neil, I know you're not doing a whole hell of a lot. So let's get you guys over here. Agnew, got this. You really need a better weapon. Let's see what we got here. So you don't... That one's shitty. Edge 2, so that's an edge 1. These are edge 2s. We give you a Wakazashi. What are you trained in? You're trained in katanas, so... Uh, let's just give you an edge 2. This shoots regular bolts, so that's fine. Sad Neil. You've got some decent armor. Got a decent weapon as well. And what else? We just need a bunch of food, and I think we still have a ton of rations here. Burn. He's got a bunch of these. I don't think we need all this first aid. We got an excess of everything right now. Get rid of all those. Let's take the full one though. Close this. Actually, we don't need this many repair kits. Or that weapon. Good enough. Most excellent. Okay. So it looks like we are basically ready. We're going to go say hello to the Hivers. And let's see if we can get the queen to come out and visit. So let's make our way down this way. Got a few more minutes, so we will slowly make our way into the hills over here. Not sure if there's an easy way in. I think we can probably get through here. I'm not too sure. I've never gone in there as far as the actual hive. Now I imagine there's going to be some pretty intimidating folk in there. So we will just have to see. Let's just head up to this uh, armory ruin. Don't quite remember what was in there. We got a black gorilla over here. Let's uh, let's test the abilities of Sad New. Let's put them on hold. Let's see what Sad Neil is made of. Now, once upon a time, I did capture a bunch of these. I caught, I think, two or three of them. And I threw them in the cage with the great white gorilla. I figured they would all be friends, but I was wrong. They all just tried to destroy each other. Which doesn't seem very suitable, considering you would think they're friendly. They would be friendly, but nothing in Kenshi is friendly, it seems. Everybody wants to kill everybody. All things are hungry. Sad Neil's doing a really good job here. He's protecting himself as well as dishing out the blows. A couple more shots to the chest and this gorilla will go down. There's two more and boop. Perfect. Excellent kill, Sad Neil. You have done us proud. Now he does not have a repair kit. So let's get Burn. You give him one. Sad Neil, you can repair yourself now. Took a little bit of a beating. It's not too bad. Let's just head up here. I think that ruin is just up the hill here. 
probably nothing too fancy in it. I can't remember exactly if there's anything worthwhile in it, but if you guys want to explore it, you know where it is. Oh, it's right here. Jeez. Well, there's nothing much there. Just a bunch of broken scraps. So I think we can make our way up here. Oh, looks like we've got a runner. A couple runners. What is taking so long, you guys? Coming up the back side, it seems. So, put this in play and beat on these guys. Excellent. Okay, well, let's head in. No, no, no. Let's do it as a group, you guys. We're here as a team. Thank you. All right. Let's make our way into the unknown. Well guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Comment down below if you would like to explain something that I maybe missed or you would like to tell me. I do read the comments and I do comment back. So be sure to leave your beautiful name down below. If you enjoyed this episode and want to watch more, hit that subscribe button and we will talk again. JD out.